it going everyone? Mandy here from On The Grow and today we have a grow space update for you guys. In this video we are going to be discussing all the experiments we have going on along with our full walkthroughs and some of the more crazy crops that we have growing in front of me. But before I get into that I wanted to take a moment and just say thank you guys so much because every single one of you guys have sent us so many amazing messages. I'm getting a little teary, sorry. But so many amazing messages and because of you guys and because of all your love and support we are able to continue to do all this and continue to teach so many people every day and <laughs> sorry I didn't think I was gonna get so emotional um but it just means a lot to us so thank each and every one of you for all your love and continued love now I just want to move in <laughs> sorry one second so now I just want to talk about how we're about to hit the 17k subscriber mark, which is still just completely mind boggling to both of us. We never expect our channel to get as far as it is, and it's continuing to grow quicker and quicker every day. And because we are beginning to get to that mark, the commenting is starting to get a little bit harder for us to respond to every single one of you because we do like to give very in-depth comments and we love having that interaction with every single one of you guys. So we're gonna to continue to try to keep up with all of that, but with everything growing so fast, it might get a little bit more difficult for us. So if you could take a second and just like look through the comment section or even go check our website, I guarantee we probably answered your question before, but we will still continue to try to answer those back the best that we can. So now let's go ahead and move into our experiments. So over here on my left, we have our brand new rack build, which we actually just did that video on it. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out. And that way you can figure out how you can make a rack just like this. So over on this rack, we actually have all of our new LED light experiments. And we have basic salad mix, uh, Rambo radish, <laughs> uh, sunflower, and we have purple kohlrabi. So this is gonna be a great experiment because we actually ended up finally getting a part meter <laughs> for everyone that's been wanting us to do that. We're going to start doing that on the videos now. So that way you guys can get a little bit more information about each of the lights that we're using. And that way we can go a little bit more in depth on these types of experiments. So that's kind of it for this side of the room. Um, on this side though, we have a bunch of full walkthroughs. I think y'all are going to be very excited about these because we have cilantro right here, which we're actually gonna be harvesting this either today or tomorrow. So you should be seeing that video within the next week or two. We have a beet mix. This is actually two different types of beet, which I'm gonna show you guys how you can grow that. We have carrot and dill. Plus I got some crests up here. And this is a fun little secret tray, which I'm not gonna tell you about yet but we will have a full walkthrough on that one as well, along with we just harvested peas. So peas are coming up, I think, tomorrow. So that should be a fun one. Um, but that's kind of it for the full walkthroughs as of this moment. I'm sure I'm going to do a ton more because I have a whole list. <laughs> so that will be fun. I actually went through all the seed varieties that we have right now, and I printed out each one of the names so that way I can begin marking them off on doing full walkthroughs because I set a personal goal that I'm going to try to learn to grow every single crop and do a full walkthrough on it. So with that being said, they, there will be a lot of full walkthroughs over the next few months or I don't know how long it's going to take me, but we will learn how to grow all of them together. There are a few that I am not as excited about because I know that they are very difficult but I'm sure with more practice, we will get through those and I can teach you guys how to grow those ones as well. <laughs> Some other experiments that we have coming to our grow space as well is we're gonna be using red acre cabbage on a hydroponic nutrient test. And for this nutrient test, we're gonna be using Maxi Grow, Master Blend, and Ocean Solution. So that will be a fun one coming up very soon. And on top of that, which I'm gonna grab us all off the shelf, we will be doing a test to grow microgreens in perlite. For this experiment, I believe we're gonna be doing three trays of perlite with, I don't know which crop yet, but we're gonna figure that one out. <laughs> so if you have suggestions, let us know. But we're gonna be growing them on this medium and we're gonna see if it's able to grow. <laughs> 
Now we can move on to this going on right in front of me. So over on my right side, this has actually been growing for I think over two months now. And this is sorrel. Sorrel takes a very long time. <laughs> this is really not that tall, but it looks amazing. And what I did here is I actually have four of the five by five trays. And originally this was kind of like how this looks over here, but I did a test where I planted some underneath the soil, some on top, and then I had them done that same way, but then I had weight added. The one that actually did the best with germinating the quickest was where I had a little bit of sorrel and then I put a tiny bit of cocoa core on top of that and it had no weight. Though everything else did catch up, as you can see in front of me, that one did do the best. Now let's talk about this because these are gonna be some of the new ones that I'm trying to figure out and that way we can do full walkthroughs on. As you can see, there's little five by fives. I, I added seed on top of them. Some of them I planted under just because I already am aware of what that kind of seed needs. And some of them I did on top so that way we can figure those ones out. So right here I have our rainbow Swiss chard, which I'm very excited about. Then we have, I believe this is the Brussels. salad, or no, yeah, Brussels. This is the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and over here we have shiso, which I believe this is the shiso green variety. Then we have spicy salad mix. Um, I think this one is three colored daisy. Then we have edible marigold. Then we have another shiso variety, which is the shiso purple. And this one has still not come up yet, but it is called water pepper. I've never heard of it. So we were like, let's buy this and see what it's like. So that should be really interesting to see what the flavor, appearance, and how long it takes because it's so far doing the slowest. <laughs> one of the experiments I forgot to talk about, which is actually something y'all suggested, is we're going to take four trays of a crop and we're gonna put them all under the same exact light and then we're going to take two of those near the end and put them under a different set of lights to see if we can get any difference in the appearance of the crop. And the last big thing that we're going to be doing is hopefully revamping our website in the next coming weeks because we have noticed that it is running rather slow. And we also want to update our growing guide section, make it a little bit easier for you guys to read and easier for us to add all of these crops into it so that way you can have easy access to all the information as well. So that is it for our March update. We do have a few things under wraps that we're not going to tell you guys about yet, secrets, <laughs> but as always everything that we're going to be sharing is always going to be for free because we want y'all to be able to get all the information and grow just like us. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. It really helps us whenever you guys support all of our videos and if you want to help support us further please check out our Amazon affiliate links. It does not cost you anything extra to go through those links and buy supplies, but it does help us gain a little bit of percentage so that way we can continue to buy all the supplies we need in order to continue doing all of our experiments for you guys. So that is it for our Grow Space update. We love you guys and keep on believing.